today. Unity just gave the worst apology ever. The RTX 5090 is an absolute monster, and Nvidia is making their biggest change yet. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, I thought I'd go over the complete fiasco happening around the Unity engine lately, as well as the brand new apology they recently tweeted. For those who haven't been following this story, Unity, a very popular gaming engine, announced a new pricing model last Tuesday. And let's just say it pissed a lot of people off, and for good reason. The new pricing literally charges per install in any game made in Unity after a certain threshold, meaning you have to pay a fee to a game engine every time you're game is installed. Now even if we take away the massive issues with pirated games potentially costing developers money, along with users trying to screw over the games say they don't like by installing the game multiple times, which are all major issues with this terrible model and something I'm pretty much positive they have no way of resolving. But those aside, this is literally like a saw manufacturer charging you every time you sell a table you built with their saw. I mean it's absolutely insane. But what's even worse is that they're actually doing this retroactively, meaning if you built a game in Unity, say, five years ago, this will start applying to you. It makes zero sense. So obviously, there was a ton of backlash online, and Unity has now tweeted out the worst apology imaginable. First, they apologize for the, quote, confusion and angst the runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. I'm sorry, what confusion? There is zero confusion about their policy. We actually get it, which is why everyone hates it. They further went on to say that they're listening and talking to people and blah, blah, blah. Basically, they'll share an update in the coming days. So they essentially said nothing and blamed everyone for being confused and angsty. I personally think they're going to try and barely change anything, but pretend like they did something huge. But really, the damage is done. Even if they completely rolled everything back, no one is going to trust them again. They'd almost certainly try it again at a later time anyway, especially given the man likely behind all of this is their CEO, who seems to have been too greedy for even EA. Let that sink in for a minute. This guy was too terrible for EA, one of the worst companies ever. I mean, he actually wanted to charge for reloads in Battlefield. So he literally wanted to charge per bullet in a virtual game. And now he's the current leader at Unity. I mean, how is this guy still getting work? And did they actually think this would be accepted? I guess so, because, well, here we are. But first, today's video is sponsored by Power Color and their awesome new Devil Skins, the most unique way to customize your GPU that I've ever seen. They're basically these awesome looking backplates that let you completely change the look of your GPU. And what's wild is that they actually use magnets that attach to your Red Devil 7900 series cards so you can swap them out in seconds. These are freaking awesome. So add some style to your new graphics card by visiting my link in the description below. Next up, it looks like we have it. NVIDIA's RTX 5090 specs, performance, and more just leaked and it's set to be the ultimate upgrade. The story comes from a new post from the Chippel forums, and this same poster recently shared details on the naming scheme for the RTX 50 GPUs that were confirmed by the very trustworthy leaker copite 7 Kimmy. So he clearly knows what's going on inside NVIDIA, and according to the post, NVIDIA's next gen will get a whopping 50% increase in scale, which almost certainly means cores. So we're talking well over 24,000 cores for the RTX 5090. And I say 5090 because he later claims that these are in comparison to the RTX 4090. Not only that, but they get a 52% increase in memory bandwidth, which would mean 32 gigabits per second. So we're looking at GDDR7 memory. The cache is apparently also increased by a whopping 78%, along with a 15% increase in clocks. And all of this adds up to an unreal 1.7 times performance increase over the 4090. And given these specs, we're almost certainly talking 1.7 times in rasterization. Not just some increase from DLSS 4.0 triple frame generation or whatever Nvidia decides to do with their next gen upscaling tech. Instead, we're talking regular performance, and a 1.7 times increase is definitely impressive, especially given it's against their high-end 4090, which was already one of the only GPUs that saw a decent performance uplift when compared to the 3000 series. Hopefully, we'll see similar performance gains across the rest of the 50 series product stack. 
and the next-gen NVIDIA news doesn't stop there. For those who don't know, NVIDIA currently uses the Hopper architecture for their HPC GPU, while their gaming cards use Ada Lovelace. But all rumors point to NVIDIA moving back to a single architecture for both their gaming and HPC cards. And that architecture is Blackwell. Well, according to a new post from Cobite 7 Kimmy, Blackwell is set to finally move to an MCM GPU design, meaning NVIDIA is finally going to do what AMD did with their Ryzen CPUs and more recently their RDNA 3 GPUs, which is to combine multiple smaller modules into one large chip. This makes for much easier scaling as well as much cheaper designs. See, the bigger a chip gets, the higher chance something goes wrong and you have to bin it or toss it out. But with MCMs, you can simply throw out the module that's defective instead of the whole thing. According to the tweet, this is for their GB100 GPU, so there's no mention of their RTX 5000 cards, but there's a chance that those could get a similar treatment, given they are based on the same architecture. Personally, I wouldn't get my hopes up for that just yet. Maybe with the RTX 6000 series? I'm not sure. In a later tweet by copite 7 Kimmy, Blackwell won't be too different in terms of the number of TPCs, SMs, and all that stuff, but the structure will be hugely different. And of course, given it's an MCM design, that's not a surprise at all. At the end of the day, though, this is a massive step forward and could be the start of huge performance gains in the GPU market. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for NVIDIA's RTX 5090? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out PowerColor's awesome new devil skins down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!